What up boys and welcome back to another gold farming video. So in this video we're going to do something I've been asked a ton because a lot of you guys tried out my primal fire video, uh, my farming method and with great success and you then asked me like how do you farm primal mana because primal mana is one of the materials you need in order to make this the tomb of illusion. You need five primal fire and five primal mana and the primal mana when it comes to price you can see they're currently like almost 200 gold in my realm but they average for like 110 gold each. And trust me, they're gonna they have a lot of potential. They're gonna go up by a fuck ton. The reason is primal fire is really easy to farm. It's harder to fire, farm the primal mana. Like the most efficient way of getting primal mana is doing Karasan. Karasan takes you like as you can see on the timer right here, takes you seven minutes to get to this room right here. And there's just a ton of mana creatures in this room and uh, with the boss right in here. And also if you walk up this plateau, this hallway, there's some mana mobs in this room. So that like killing all of those mobs takes you seven minutes and 16 seconds for me though to kill all those mobs and you will get like six primals six to seven primals each time so that's pretty damn good that's like a primal a minute the problem is you're gonna have to like either port out or continue the carousel dungeon there is some pets and so on they can drop from the last bosses if you decide to go through with the whole run and you can also get a ton of epic items to to disenchant because you also need uh, the void crystals in order to make this so i would just do carousel on every single tune to get a ton of primal uh, mana and a ton of void crystals and uh yeah but i mean if you feel like you need more primal mana there is ways of farming him but it's not really efficient i would rather suggest you guys to go and farm something else sell it and buy primal mana it's going to be more efficient but if you absolutely want to farm him you can go to uh to Outland and Netherstorm and you can kill the mana mobs alongside the edge of Netherstorm. There's like a bunch of mana rafts and so on you can kill but I mean the drop chances and the density of the mobs is not really good at all. So if I were you guys, if you want primal mana and also get the crystals, just go into Karasan all the way up to this room. Once you get to this plateau, if you don't really care about the chance of like the, going through the troubles of doing the chest event and so on, you can just pour out and bring in another tune. That's what I do at least. And yeah, that is basically it for this video. Hopefully some of you guys um, weren't aware of the Karasan when it comes to Primal Mana. It's definitely the best way of obtaining him. And uh, if you like this video, feel free to press uh, subscribe right down here. And I will be back uh, with another video tomorrow. And I will keep on looking into materials for the other tombs as well. Tell me if you guys are interested in any specific materials. And I will take a look at it and make a video about it. And that's it. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.